Everything is broken and wrong. Every day I see something and I'm like, I would have fixed that because I'm a rational human being. Who designed this new Nerf mascot? Who designed the new Miles Morales across the Spider-Verse suit? Who thought orange looked good on Spider-Man? Today, I will start a new series where I right the wrongs of humanity. Today, I will show you what I would do if I was God. First order of business, make Marvel Comics stop doing this. Why the hell would you change the source material when people probably already liked it the way it was? I can promise you MCU fans would have liked Miss Marvel the way she already was. We've never seen Miss Marvel on such a huge stage before. She's gonna be shown to people who have never even heard of her before. So why are we making everyone think she has light powers? You're telling me that MCU fans wouldn't enjoy or relate to a story about a character overcoming her disgust towards her weird powers as a metaphor for body dysmorphia? Nah man, the space jewelry is way fucking cooler. Here's the thing, it's heavily speculated that the reason for her powers were changed due to this guy joining the MCU, and if they had the same powers, it would confuse fans. Okay. If anything, give Reed the fucking space powers. He's the one who actually went to space to get his superpowers. So why not make his space looking instead? All you do when you change the good source material is piss on people who already liked it the way it was. They do this to try to make new fans happy when they would have just been happy anyway. Why doesn't the MCU save all the changing for the shit we actually hate? or the shit that's just mediocre. Changing the source material can actually be good. For example, in Amazing Fantasy 15, the words with great power comes great responsibility actually come from the narration written by Stan Lee. It's not a phrase said by Peter Parker or Uncle Ben. It's almost a phrase that is completely alienated from Peter or Ben the entire story. It's just for the reader to see. But in Spider-Man 1, Instead of these words being completely absent from Ben or Peter, it's Ben who says with great power comes great responsibility, instead of the narration by Stan Lee. This change made the words stick a lot harder to Peter. Since Ben died because of Peter's selfishness, Peter is more obligated to actually believe in this phrase. Okay, I have a confession to make. I like this design. Now I know a lot of people get very angry when they change the Miles Morales design, and they did. They changed it again for the new Across the Spider-Verse movie coming- a Spider-Verse? Across the Spider-Verse movie coming up. Now, 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 I like it. If there's one thing I would say, it's that I wish we had a little bit more time with the previous one. We only got about, like, maybe 10 to 20 minutes of screen time with it. I just wish we get to see it a little more before they ushered in this new one. But the more I looked at this costume, there's something that really bothers me about it. It's this. Why... Why doesn't the line go all the way down to the leg? To all the way down to the boot. It bothers me. It bothers me. Like, look at the hand. The stripes go all the way through to the hand. Why wouldn't you do the same for the foot? The hand is like the parallel to the foot on the human body. Why the fuck does the stripe not go all the way down? It bothers me. It bothers the shit out of me. Because it would really, like, just connect the entire design. But they just cut it off. They just cut it off. Miles just ran out of paint halfway through the leg, and they cut it off. This bothers the shit out of me. It, I'm, like, I... It's, it's like, such a small change, but it's enough to fucking get on my nerves whenever I see it. Why didn't they fucking make it go all the way down? Why? Wait, see, look, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Look. I just fixed it. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna wrap up this video with the new Craven news that's came out about, like, him being a vegetarian or whatever and them trying to make him into an anti-hero. Look, okay? 
let's think about it like this. Everybody and their mom thinks Venom is cool, okay? When you made a movie about Venom without Spider-Man, it's like, okay, I mean, we like Venom, so... Yeah, alright. We like Venom enough that we don't need there to not be Spider-Man in it. Who? Who? Absolutely who? Likes Kraven or Morbius enough to have a movie about them? There are only like two... Two Spider-Man side characters that I think people would go see a solo movie about, and that is Black Cat and Venom, and you already have gotten rid of one of them. And the movie about the other one got fucking canceled, but people would go see that because they're horny, and you know that's the truth. I, I, like, and it's not even like, oh, I think Sony should give the, the label over to Marvel. Hell no, I don't think they should do that. But it's making it, they're making it harder for me to root for them. Because they are always doing stupid ass shit. Sony, how the fuck am I supposed to root for you after you made Morbius? How? How am I supposed to root for you after you made Morbius? You, like, nobody gave a fuck about Morbius. And then when they put it back in theaters, it only made like $85,000? They clowned you. They clowned you, Sony. That's done. Okay? This TASM2 villain-ass universe you guys are making is done. It's over. I don't know why the fuck they're still doing this. Like, why don't you just pour all this money you're putting into these stupid-ass movies into fucking Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse? The fact that they had to go on Twitter to hire more animators for the project is sus to me. Like, if anything, why don't you pour more money into, like, the greatest Spider-Man movie ever made and you can do that you can do that stop stop spending on this stupid shit like it's pointless all these other like solo villain movies are just so pointless because unless it's venom nobody cares you guys have gotten like one villain that people cared about and you guys are milking a trilogy out of him like Nobody cares about any other Spider-Man villain more than Venom. I hate to say it. Venom is the most popular one. All right. That's the one that has the most longevity outside of Spider-Man. And that's the one people care the most about. You're not going to have any success with anyone like Kraven or Morbius or even like some of the big ones. You're not going to have any success unless it's like a superior foes of Spider-Man thing. You're not going to have anything more. That's it. That's it for this video. This might be like a one-off series because this whole video is just supposed to be short things that I cared enough to complain about. So if I can find anything else that I can complain about that's recent that I compile all into one video, then I'll do that. But this might not be a series you see very often. But anyway, I renounce my titleship, I renounce my godhood, and I return back amongst you you lowly humans and i now have no power anymore thank you so much for watching bye